Well, hello everyone. Good morning, everyone. I am, uh oh, what's that? Some kind of bug. I actually came to get my car service this morning, and um, well, I guess I want to show y'all the big chop. There it is. You know, I told y'all um, after all those deaths, I, I, I guess my body got stressed or whatever the case may be, and it was just so unhealthy, so I had to chop it all off, y'all feel a little weird but at the same token it's okay because <laughs> i'm still cute <laughs> oh lord nah i'm still processing i'm like okay lord this is what the third time in what six years i think but all is well but also i wanted to just encourage you uh guys to if you're in the atlanta area coming up this friday which is um july the 16th and the 17th right i'm telling you god says that <laughs> i'm so serious my god my god god is getting ready to do something at that conference that has never been done before and i'm not just saying that you know how people lie just to get you to come or, or just just lie to lie truth be told but something's getting ready to happen i can tell because he asked me yes all of us all of the speakers we're meeting on a call each week praying fasting ready i'm gonna say it again getting ready and i'm not kidding something is getting ready to pop off here in atlanta and i know why and i'm gonna say it I'm, I'm just gonna i've been more direct than ever so the enemy thought because god allowed those hits that i would back up <laughs> i'm all in the enemy face i'm gonna say it again i'm all in the enemy face and i'm talking about close up we are the joshua generation Come on, somebody. You know, I'm just going. I don't want to really give it all away. But the conference is going to be more of a teaching than preaching. Y'all ain't ready for me for real. Oh, man, they're going to make me say it. I didn't want to say it right now. I want to say it during the conference, but I'm going to say it. Jesus was more of a teacher than a preacher. If you go all through that Bible, everybody was more of a teacher than a preacher. When I caught hold of that thing, I say, I say, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. So preaching is what? He said preaching is what you do with your life. Teaching is what you do in the word, the word of God. I mean, you could preach it, but your life is what tells people, okay, wait a minute. I'm really living this. I'm really walking this. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But when you teach, you teach other people how to flow in God, how to live, how, how to live a godly life, how to walk in God through adversity through tests, through trials, through tribulations, period, in the story, to have wisdom and discernment, to understand what does say the Lord. Because too many people are backing up instead of stepping up. I ain't going to say no name today. I was looking at a video. And the only reason I was looking at it because it came through my thing, my timeline. <sighs> I ain't going to say no name today. I was so discouraged. This... <laughs> Our position, before I say this, is not to judge people, but to pray for them. Now, we're supposed to call out wrong, because people don't want to do that either. They, oh, you just, whatever, you tripping. I'm supposed to be all in your face if you're wrong. Just like if I'm wrong, you're supposed to be all in my face. Because guess what? The Bible says that those that, that actually help a brother and sister, and I'm paraphrasing, from sin, you save their soul. The blood is not on your hands. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So it's all about telling the truth in this hour. People don't want to tell the truth because you're scared people are not going to like you no more. Or you're scared they're not going to follow you. Or they, uh, <laughs> I don't know where these little buzz coming from. I'll be y'all. You better leave me alone. I don't care how people feel. My mandate is to help you get where God wants you. My mandate is to worry about your soul. Not if you like me. Not if you're going to unfriend me. Not if you're going to unfollow me. Not if you're going to talk about me. Not if you're going to mock me. I really don't care. And, and I'm telling you, since the deaths of all to death, I didn't got bold. I couldn't understand. I'm not going to lie to you because it was such a great pain. But you remember what I kept telling y'all? I said, I feel like my pain is pushing me to my purpose. And I got tears in my eyes. That's what happened. Hallelujah. If you thought I was crazy, y'all ain't seen nothing because I feel the power. Of God like I ain't never felt. Hallelujah. And it hurts. Don't get it twisted. Because dad's birthday is today. So you know, I'm always doing something from, for him. And God said don't be sad today. 
It's still a joyous day, he said. He said, because he's with me. No more crying. No more worrying. Come on, somebody, I'll leave you. When you're in the presence of God, come on, somebody, not just in heaven, but on earth as well, everything changes. Because it's one touch, one touch that can save your whole life. It is one touch from God that can help you save others. Because we're not all that great. As long as you're in this flesh, we are a mess. However, though, God knows how to touch you so that you may touch others. Come on, somebody. That's what it's all about. People don't understand. And, and I finally got this thing. When you're going through testing and trials and tribulations, not, don't run from God as if, oh, God, why are you letting this happen? Run to God and say, I, I don't understand it. But though you slay me, yet I will trust in you. Yet I will keep my faith. Yes, I will grow in faith. I'll love you more. I'll serve you more. That's what this is about. Not being transformed by this world. So let me say what I was going to say. So when I looked at the video of the young lady, I'm just going to keep it real. My heart was so sad. I was like, she didn't conform to this world. Running her testimony. And I don't care if nobody knows what I'm talking about. I ain't saying no name today. Running her testimony for fame. Yeah, I said it. I, and at and, and one point, I'm going to have to call out that name because it's about souls. And people be saying, oh, you hate God. Ain't nobody hating on you. You ain't got no power. And you're letting the enemy take your power. Come on, somebody. Y'all ain't ready for me. Not for real. I'm more closer than God than I've ever been. And I'm trying to be arrogant and boastful. This pain then pushed me to my purpose to where we all are processing. But as you process, you're supposed to progress. Come on, somebody. Somebody write that in the comments. As you process, you're supposed to progress. Because let me tell you what YouTube did, all right? So I was going to do a video yesterday because that's when I got my hair cut, right? Well, the big chop or whatever. And I was going to tell y'all. YouTube told me we're banning you from a video from six months ago. Six months ago, y'all. No. What you mad about YouTube and everybody else that do stuff like that, you know that what hit me and what God have allowed to hit me and still hit me didn't stop me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You didn't stop me. You can't break me because you didn't make me. It's just pushing me closer to God. It with tears, with fears. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's just pushing me closer to God. You can't stop what God has started. You can't touch what God has started. As a matter of fact, I'm going to help y'all today. So y'all know I tell y'all, they be doing a lot of stuff, trust me. Even in Hawaii, they did some stuff. Some stuff I could release, the other stuff, just give it to God. And I never forget, this is what God told me yesterday, y'all. He said, Deanna, don't focus on what they're doing. That's what they want you to do. You see, the enemy, I'm schooling y'all this morning. The enemy tries to hit you to stop you. You remember, let, let's start with Job. You know how Job got hit? Because he was serving God. He was serving God with all his heart, mind, and soul. And sitting with his ugly self gonna go to God and say yeah I guess so you got a hedge of protection around him God say go ahead test him but touch not his life come on somebody I'm preaching up in here so he hit Job with everything even his wife tried to turn on him and say what he said go ahead curse God and die right that's the wife said Job even turned on her so what I'm really saying is this. The enemy will try to send people to try to intimidate you, to try to hurt you, even his friends. What did you do? You must have did something. You don't let nobody intimidate you. As a matter of fact, when they come in, they, in your face, you, you go harder with God. When they come in your face, you let them know the presence of God. When they come in your face, so that's all you got. And although Job was hurting and did not quite understand what God was allowing, he said, though you slay me, I will trust in you. God bless Job with double. Now, now, hold on. We don't do it just for the blessings. Job showed God, I love you more than fame, more than fortune, more than my friends, more than my wife. God has to be first. And so when that thing hit me, I said, that's it. No matter what happened, I got to put God first. Matthew 6, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. You don't let people intimidate you. 
The world has come and tried to intimidate us even for being Christians. Oh, y'all crazy, mocking, laughing, sending people to try to be your friends, knowing they're not. All kind of stuff I could tell y'all over and over again. Well, first of all, I didn't cut off everybody, every plant. So they really mad because now they ain't got no more access. I don't even know if I'm doing the classes again because to be honest with y'all, I'm about to tell it all this morning. They made me mad. Hallelujah. Happy birthday, daddy, in heaven and God. I don't know if I'm doing classes again because most of them are plants in the class. The only reason I let them in because God said they're souls. But they have disrupted. They've done this and they think they really did something. No, you ain't did something. My season was getting ready to be over anyway. But now you really don't have access to me because now you can't, you, you can't act a fool. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for me for real. So now there's no access. Them people been acting fool. I got a package just today. I don't get packages at my apartment. Yes, I stay in a nice apartment. Hallelujah. Getting my home in October. God spare. So anywho, I let him go to my daughter's house, right? Honey, I had a package yesterday at the apartment. I don't even, I ain't even touch it. It's still standing there. It's still sitting there. I'm going to call them people. Y'all better come get that because I'm not bringing it in my house. I'm about to tell y'all something so they can't get to me. So witchcraft must be invited in. Listen to me because I, I feel the power of God. Witchcraft must be invited in. So you think I'm going to take that package and put it in and it have Dixie cups on it. I ain't order no cups. I got, I got so much stuff in storage and everything else. I don't need no cups. But you thought I was going to touch it or put, I kicked it with my feet to the side and it's going to stay right there. I'm trying to tell y'all. So the enemy, this is what he do. He look for a way to try to get in. He look for a way to try to get in. He'll come through money, honey, and funny. He ain't got no way in. Can't get close to me. Can't get next to me. Because I didn't cut off every fake friend, every fake this and every fake that. And, and, and told them in the class, y'all play with me? Because I got, I think I, we got one more week to do. I will call you out. I will tell you what branch you work for. CIA, DEA, FBI. And I'll call your name and your badge. Play with me. Because you, you, you've been watching me enough to know that my gift is authentic. Play with me. Go ahead. Bring it. Y'all want to play crazy? We're going to all be playing crazy. It is time for us to rise up like never before. You don't back up from the enemy. You get in the enemy face because he and ours. Trying to take our kids, our husbands, our wives, us all to hell with him because he's gone. He has but a little time left. That's why y'all seen the road rage. Y'all seen all that. God said that's a spirit. And that's what I've been trying to tell y'all. Pray over your cities. Pray over your, your, your um, neighbors. Pray over everybody. You wondering why the enemy is rising? Because the remnant has not rose. It's time for you to rise. And, and now I'm getting into my message for next week. I'm going to give y'all a snippet. Take the land, said the Lord. Joshua generation. Take the land. I'm going to say it again. Joshua generation. Take the land. The kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Everybody playing with these people. And don't be scared to die. Don't be scared to get hit. Because you're going to get hit. If you're real, you're going to get hit. Now, fakers, y'all ain't got to worry about nothing because y'all fake anyway. Y'all going to take the market of beast and everything because you're fake. You'll sell out your, your family, your friends. And, and I tell y'all, be careful because here's how, here's how people come in. They come in acting like they're your friends and everything, even family members, because they didn't took that money. If, the, if you know somebody greedy for money, they are, they could be a potential plant material. What is a plant? I didn't took that money, and I'm a, I didn't sold you out. So now I gotta find out what you doing, what you think, where you going, and you'll feel it. You'll feel it. I don't care who they are. You'll feel it. People try to. This is what's crazy. They try to get close to me, stuff like that. Don't you know I know who you are before you even come in? But because I truly have a, a heart of God. I'll sometimes let them get close just so I can tell them what they said the Lord. Y'all ain't ready for it. Let's, let's go. Let's do this. Look them straight in their eyes. It happened. One of my conferences in, in Atlanta, I think it was 2015 or 2016. Let me tell y'all what happened. This girl came in my house, everything. And I knew she was a plant. And I really just want to. Y'all know I'm, y'all know. Y'all know my, pe I, I didn't play then. I don't play now. I know. <laughs> Act crazy if you want to. So anywho. I let him, and then God told me, he said, um, watch what I do. I'm telling y'all what happened. She came to the conference, and that young lady came with tears, and she was sobbing, and it wasn't fake. And I know why she did that. She didn't say a word. She didn't say a word. 
But I knew she was thinking this. I know you're a real woman of God and I'm sorry. But I was on assignment. And I mean, she, she, she was just crying, everything. Nose running, everything. I didn't bash her or nothing. You know what I told her? I said, I forgive you, young lady. I forgive you. And I'm saying it publicly. Every plant that have surplanted came into my class, friends, family, anybody that took that money, I forgive you. But I ain't fooling with you. And, and you better stab my face because I've been authorized. Oh, oh, what was the authorization? I've been authorized to call y'all out. <laughs> and y'all know I'm bold enough to do it. See, I've seen my end. I ain't scared. Even when they kill me, my teachings will go on. Even when they kill me, the spirit of God. What? You can't. You don't kill a Christian per se. Because you can't. We are in the image of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Look, they killed him. Don't we represent him? And he said, I must go to my father. And then you will do greater work. Can I tell you something? The greater work is here. I'm going to say it again. The greater work is here and ain't nobody can stop it. I don't care how they try to. I don't care what they do. I don't care who they send. I don't care what they say. I don't care. I don't care. I'm ready. It took all this what I went through to get me ready all the way. Because I was holding back a little bit. Let's be real. Because you know too, too much is given, much is required. But not only that, God was just telling me this. The greater he blesses you with things, the more hits you take. Let's do this. I'm going to do a beastly on y'all. <laughs> I told you I'm off the chain. I'm off the chain. And then this new haircut, I feel like a warrior. You know, Deanna is derived from Diana, and Diana means warrior. That's it. Ain't got nothing else to say. So I just want to give y'all this new because I see a lot of activity all of a sudden. So I don't want nobody in my video because, you know, you know, all of a sudden, everybody knows I hear. Now, all of a sudden, everybody. <laughs> All right, so God bless y'all. God keep y'all. I don't know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.